hello everyone this is me and mol and uh, as i am doing the uh, a series showing you the crud in php and mongodb so this is my third video in that course which is how to update a query or uh, how to update a record in mongodb using php so first of all i have added this thing what is this it is a query string variable which i have created you can see here if i simply echo pre tag here and then print an array here just the first line so that i won't mess up in the i'll make a die here so you can see this is the mongo id which you are getting here <coughs> sorry the mongo id is a unique id to each and every record in mongodb it's like an inbuilt primary key you can use this key as well if you are making this the primary one but i am what i am using is this one so let's do i have added this one in this link so let me quickly delete this one and when you go to the update the zilla and xavier here you get your id now the first as you know in every update operation you need two things to do firstly to get this value and then to submit and using uh, submit and updating it so i have already made the connection here now my next step would be you must be wondering what is this as in the previous this one this is not uh, this is uh, what i am getting is a string but to get the same action from the mongodb i have to make a mongo id object here so i am making the id a mongo id object here so that i could able to find it so i'll write the query here let me just copy paste it okay instead of find i'll do find one because i'll need only one query and uh, the <coughs> array it will show the id is equal to that mongo id which i have pass from string to mongo id object and if i echo pre here and print our object here i'll get you can see this which i need so next step is to add this and this into this so to do so i'll simply <coughs> sorry add a value here which would be echo dollar emoji and email I'll do for here for the app name. Let me see if we get this. Okay, we're getting this. And the next step is to pass let 
let me comment on this one Holder type item and the value would be either you use this one or the get ID. So if I use my firebug here. Get up there. You can see this ID is also passing along with the form so if I go to this one I'll simply this one so simply I'll do this color turn on this color post and in this one echo so instead of cell I'll write here Zeus in place of Z, we'll place Zeus at the rate P dot com. When I submit this, you see Zeus, this one, this one, and the submit one. Okay, so my next step is to update this one. To do so, I won't be needing this one. Okay, so I'll copy this from here. <coughs> Sorry, uh, record update. It's same as MySQL query, only the difference is you'll in, up in this update query. Firstly, you'll set you will add where condition in mysql query you write update table name set then values of these and where id is equal to this but in this one you will have to make the id first so the first argument will be id and its value would be okay as you have seen the value I am getting is the string one so I once again I have to make it <coughs> make this id into the mongo object id my next would be an array Firstly, the set keyword, dollar set keyword, and then the array. After that, just the conditions, email. You must be confused with the arrays, but uh, trust me, if you have worked on any MVC structure, the arrays are the most simple thing to understand here. So, email would be my dollar underscore post email here and so it's f name here and 
up to that I'll send it back to the see Zeus at P I'll change this one Xavier I'll make set cow er at the rate gmail.com and Xavier Chan here submit you'll see Xavier Chan and this one it's pretty simple if you have any query just let me know and uh, enjoy the video i'll be posting the last video very soon